Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of WebDev with Go. Today, we're going to be learning all about cookies, how to read them and how to write them. So let's just start this video. Right, so the first thing we're going to do is just learn about how cookies work. So cookies, in simple term, are things that are used to store small amounts of temporary information or data about a user when using a website, and it's stored inside of the website itself. Let's suppose if I'm on Instagram, right, and I'm logging in, right, so I have my username and my password. Well, what Instagram does is, is it takes the username and takes it and stores it inside of a cookie, similar to how a variable works. Cookies are basically variables, but they are stored inside of the website's local data. Now, the reason why they store cookies is so that they can use them afterwards, because let's suppose if later on when I log in, Okay, and it says welcome and my name, which is Yasa. What it does is it finds the cookie, right? And then it finds the value of the cookie, which is my username, and it displays that onto the HTML page. Now, we're gonna learn how to create cookies and access them. Okay, so now we're inside of our code base. So in order to make our cookie, first we need to figure out where inside of our code are we getting the username. So the place that we're getting our username is right over here inside of login user and right over here in signup user. So we're gonna copy and paste the exact same code for both sides, but, for, but we're just gonna work with login user for now. So we're just gonna write this right after the if statement so that we know it's true, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is just go ahead and create our cookie. So to create our cookie, first we're going to create a, a variable that's gonna hold our cookie. I'm gonna call it user. Make a declarative operator and then type http.cookie. http.cookie is a library of, it's a part of the HTTP library module. And what it does is, is it's going to set our cookie for us. First thing we need to do is specify a name for it. The name of our cookie will just be username. And the name of our, like the value of the cookie is just going to be username. Like so, add a comma, okay? Now, the next thing we're gonna do is just go ahead and set this cookie into our, into the sessions. Uh, in case you guys don't know what a session is, a session is just the, whenever the, the user is on the app, anything that's recorded there is called a session. And the things that are recorded are called cookies. So I'm, what I'm going to do is just set that. So I'm gonna go http.setCookie. All right, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write it. So to write, we type W. And then what we're gonna do is we're just going to go ahead and point it to the user variable we made earlier. The reason why we're not pointing it to the value of user, or we're not we're adding a pointer, is because the value of user can change constantly. We don't want the value to remain static. Instead, we want the pointer so that it can constantly change as the value changes. Now, if you guys want to view the if you guys want to view the cookie, we just can create a variable and variable, and I'm just gonna call it cookie. I'm gonna set it equal to user.value, like that. And then I can just go ahead and print out cookie. Cookie, okay, and it's just gonna print out cookie. All right, now the next thing I'm gonna go ahead and do is just, what, what am I gonna do now? I'm just gonna go ahead and, whoops. I'm gonna go ahead and add this over to my signup side as well. All right, and we can just start, and then we can test out this code. So to run this, just go go run main.go. All right, and I'm just going to go ahead and open this up inside of another screen and just bring it here. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and minus that. All right, so as you can see, we're inside of our login page right now. And what, we're, what I'm gonna wanna do is just go ahead and sign up. So, or I'm gonna log in. So I'm gonna type in my first name and my password, 111, and just log in. Now, if I were to head over to my inspect page, I can actually view the cookie itself. So I'm gonna go and head over to memory, or no, not memory, application, okay? And once you go over to this place called cookies, you're gonna see one cookie. And that cookie is going to have the value of Yasa. All right, and it also has an expiry date, which is gonna expire once I exit out of this page. 
And we can also view it back inside of our code terminal. So if I were to just open this, as you can see, we have the cookie YASA. And now with cookies, you guys can basically do anything you guys need. You guys can access them anywhere. And that's just how you create cookies, set cookies, and, you know, read cookies. Thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day.